back. My name's Kathleen Laurel Sage and today it's really, really wet and rainy here in Bedfordshire. So I'm in my studio and I've been pottering around all afternoon and I thought, well, maybe you'd like to see what I do in my studio and what it's like. And it's not too messy today, so I thought it was a good time to do it. So this is my office area. Um, it's fairly tidy today, but I've been working on the computer and I've been scribbling funny little designs here, as you can see. Um, really quite crude designs all day because I want to do a little bit of um, sort of machine embroidery for the terrified. So I've been fiddling around and I produced this this afternoon on my new sewing machine. So I'm just actually popping it onto the computer um, and getting it ready to send off to the shop where I'm teaching. I've got everything laid out here. I've got the phone, can't go anywhere without the phone, which is connected to the computer. The iPad, which is also connected to the computer. So I can access anything from anywhere, not just this area in, in, in the studio. And this is one small corner of the stu studio. So, um, you know, bear with me and we'll move round. Now, round where I'm working, I like to, I've got my, what I call my menagerie corner. So these little bookshelves here are where I put all the little bits and pieces that I don't really know what to do with, but I like to look at. I've got all sorts of little things on here that I think are sort of precious to me. So I've got a little bit of black work that I did there. Um, it's a little brooch, a little pin, which I quite often wear and I know where it is. Um, you know, I've got my, I've got my, I've got my lovely earrings that I, I keep special here, and these are made by a fellow uh, textile artist, and um, she makes lots of these lovely earrings. And I really like these because they're nice and big, and they go with my personality. Um, I've got little boxes that I've made. This is a, a lovely little box that I've made here um, with glitter film, so that it should be sparkling as you're looking at it now. And really all sorts of little bits and pieces. I've got a, um, a piece of plastic here that I've been fiddling with. Um, these will come up in some of the tutorials later on, but there you go. It's a lovely piece of embroidered plastic, um, which, you know, if you made it go round something and put a candle in it, well, not a candle, I mean one of those fake candles that you get, the little LED ones, it would light up and that would look lovely. So really, it's just my, it's my collection point. All the things that I have a fiddle with and I make, they all go up here so that I can look at them and they don't, they don't get put away and forgotten. Sometimes I get sent lovely gifts and I've just recently had this one. And those of you that know what I do, you'll know that I wield a soldering iron normally and I deal with organza fabrics. So the lovely lady that sent me this, thank you very much. I will get great pressure out of drinking my coffee out of that in the morning. So as we move around this way, this is what I call my working area. And as you can see today, it's got quite a lot of stuff on it because I'm in the middle of uh, machine embroidery classes. I've got a beading thing going on. I've got an interesting thing that will come live at some point here that we're working on. And generally, it's everything's out and I'm kind of working on three or four things all at once. But I've also got a lovely view down my garden. So in the day when the sun shines, I can pull up these lovely blinds and I get to look out on my lovely garden. Um, and, and that's really pleasurable. It's not so nice today because it's raining. So moving on around this way, um, we go into my clutter of beads. Um, and buttons and, and that's not all of them believe you me that's just the ones that I lay my hands on very quickly um, and it, it, it you know it, it'll get shoved on there occasionally I do tidy it up it is tidy really I don't know what the problem is um, and then we move round a bit further and we go into what I call my junk room. This is where I hide all the rubbish. And this is where I put all my sewing machines. I have got another station in here where I do cutting out if necessary. It's covered with kits for the Harrogate show coming up at the end of November. Um, again, the walls are cluttered with not just my stuff, but my husband's model railway stuff. Boxes everywhere. And on the shelves behind me, it's full 
and I will be honest this isn't the only place that I hide stuff in some of the rooms off of my studio there are wardrobes and if you come to stay you can't put your clothes in the wardrobes because it's full up with all my junk but it's not junk it's precious it's I've got everything I need so I quite like this room it's my chuck it away keep it out of the way makes the studio look tidier when actually it's all in here some of you might recognise this area, this is normally where I sit to do the tutorials that I've been doing recently and again it's more storage for more things that I like to make and have on display. Um, I don't really have an awful lot of ornaments that I buy, I tend to make my ornaments so I've mixed them all together on here, you've got to have your functional clock because you've got to know what the time is. Um, and I've got my TV for later on in the evening. Now, I don't have this TV on when I'm in the studio. It's not here for my use. It's here so that in the evening when I'm working over here, my husband comes and sits on the sofa opposite with the dog and they snore together while I carry on in the studio with the television going. And it continues and we go round and there's all sorts of things I like to make here. Twee little ornaments like this fabric um, flower reminds me of Bill and Ben and the flower pot men. Um, and I make things, my lovely hat, look at this. I like this, it looks awful on me, look at this. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> Dreadful, but never mind. Do, do I wear it up? Do I wear it down? Not quite sure, but never mind. It's made and I love it. Um, and then we move round the corner again and I've got all my books down here, not all my books I must say because there's quite a lot on the uh, family side of the house but these are the ones that I t tend to use most of the time down here um, and we then pan round the room to my lovely table which goes up and down, I love this table. If you get to the point where your back hurts when you're sewing um, what I find is this table you can wind it up and down so it makes sure that I'm always sitting with my back straight so that I don't make all the back of my neck hurt um, when I'm sewing and I can be on a sewing machine for quite a, lump, a number of hours during the day so this is a good table I get myself positioned underneath it pull my little lever out wind it up to the height I want and then I can happily sew for quite a number of hours with my back nice and straight now today I've been sewing on my new sewing machine. Unfortunately, um, my old sewing machine, a fan, 30 years old, has been put to rest and I've had to invest in a new sewing machine, which has taken me quite a while. But those of you that follow me, follow me on Facebook, you know that I've been banging my sewing machine on the table for quite a number of months now to keep it going. And you can't keep doing that to a sewing machine. So I have a new Performance 5.2 here. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna get on with it, but today I've been putting it through its paces with um, water soluble and organza um, so that later on when I dissolve this out, I'm gonna get my soldering iron out and I'm gonna solder out the flowers and make them into a brooch for a friend's birthday. So going all right at the moment, not too many problems, seems to do what I want her to do, but there's time. Um, she might complain when I wanna sew through copper and wood and uh, you know, all sorts of strange manner of things that I have been known to sew through. Um, and when the poor man gets her to service, quite often wonders what on earth I've been doing. And he now knows better than to ask. He just services the machine and gives her back to me. So that's my new machine. Looking forward to a long relationship with her. And then we just move around a little bit more and I've got my embroidery machine set up over here um, which has got, um, it's, a, it's a Husqvarna Viking topaz, it's a designer topaz and this is where I use my computer to design my own um, motifs and my own bits of embroidery which the machine then stitches out and this is a big bone of contention because I often used to think why would anybody want to press a button and go and have a cup of tea and let the machine do the work well I now know very differently the work for these machines is done before you press the button and go and have a cup of tea so I could be sat on my computer for two three hours designing something and it's only when I have sorted out all the design, transported it across, that I can actually um, press the button and let it embroider. And finally, we've got, we've got my comfy area that I very rarely get 
get to sit on because it's normally got all sorts of things draped over it that I throw over it. So the sofa has got bits of work along the back of it. It's got my mum's patchwork quilt on the back of it. Um, but the person who does get a lot of use out of this is my husband and the dog. Um, and they get yelled at. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> that was fudge just popping into the picture there but at least that's a better picture than normal because there's normally two of them snoring on the sofa here so really you know you've got all around my studio now and and the junk cupboard um and this is where i do most of my stuff where i spend most of my time um and i just love it the problem is wet work where do i go to do the wet work well obviously like a lot of you I haven't got a studio for that, so I use my kitchen, but I do have a studio down the garden, a log cabin, and that's where I tend to do a lot of my wet work. So when I, when I want to fling paint around and I want to sort of get really, really messy, I obviously don't do that up here. I do that down in the garden or, much to my husband's disgust, in the kitchen, and I terrify him when I've got the dyes and the paints out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I really enjoy showing you around. There's lots of things I've got planned to talk to you about in the future. Um, if there's anything you might want to know about, then do get in contact and let me know. I'm not saying I'm going to be able to do everything, but sometimes you will hit on something and I'll think, oh, that's a good idea. I'll have a go at that. So until next time, um, I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you all again. Bye for now.